Hallelujah. Now the Lord is uh, making me I will go read Psalm 23 and I'll show you something there. Hallelujah. Come on. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I'm looking for somebody who wants every line of this passage to walk in your life this year. <laughs> every line. Every line. I am looking for individuals, ministers, who want every line to walk in your life. Every line. The Lord is whose shepherd? What did you say? The Lord is? And as a result, let's pray. Let's pray. I shall not be in want of good health. I shall not be in want of good health. I shall not be in lack of good health. I shall not be in lack of protection. I shall not be in lack of protection. I shall not be in lack of protection. That's what it means. It must work. The word works. I shall not be in lack of the necessities of life. Though the earth tumble, though the mountains move out of their positions, though the economy is a nose dive, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and I shall not be in want. I shall not be in want of the blessings of the Lord and of the impute. The indwelling spirits of a living God. I shall not be in want of uh, even the gifts and the fruits of the spirits. I shall not be in lack of the mind of Christ. Karabus kumudum, predizia mahudi, prendalia kundulum ruzine. Damine a gruzi, precious father, na kaliburudum, prompatia uzudum, nili rekudia aduzia, ashanda la mana, aprena kindo lumani prisite, strange things coming out of people, kana prekwa sianda ududududum. That they may know that every line of the world works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I shall not be in want of divine healing and health. Divine healing and health does not come from any quarter. It comes from heaven. Now, listen. Listen. And hear this, every one of you, hear this. God is the embodiment of divine health. 
He doesn't get sick. And so now that you are saying, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. You know what you are saying? You are saying, shoot out. Lord, shoot out a part of you. And then let it radiate and then enter me. Say that. Say that. Is there anybody among you that is a businessman and you know a person, a man or a woman that has good mind and that person wants to have resources, financial resources. He wants to build a house for God. He wants to build the brethren. He wants to even build bank bungalows for widows. Do you have any such persons? If they are not here, tell them that the man of God said that from this hour, if they take my word, now in the midst of economies of the world that has gone upside down, God will raise resources and they will build house for people. Is the lots and the fullness there? All the gold, all the silver, all the resources belong to the God of heaven, the Father of our Lord Jesus, and my Father. That is why I say it. If you are one of them, if you are one of them, get ready to build a house for a widow. Get ready to offer scholarship. Get ready to build hospital. Get ready to build university. Get ready to rehabilitate people. Get ready to rehab rehab rehabilitate the people that have no hope. Get ready. I say get ready. Get what I'm saying. The Lord is my shepherd. And if you have a good mind, I see a woman that has good mind. He wants to help everybody. He wants to help every person. He wants to help every widow. He wants to help people in church. He wants to build church. He wants to build people. The person is right. Get ready to be empowered by the Lord. That is the truth. I said it. Man of God said it. The word of God said it. The Spirit of God in me said it. Get ready. Get ready to offer scholarships. Get ready to offer scholarships. Get ready to give dress. Get ready to send food across the nation onto the people in the watchman, outside the watchman. This is watchman, a child of God that is on the heights. This is the Imrimios ministry by the Imrimios God. Listen, verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. I want you to consider the shepherd taking the animals. He does not take the animals to poisonous pasture. He does not take the animal to a poisonous for pasture where they will eat poisonous, toxinous grass and begin to purge and die. He take them to green pastures that are edible. And David, by the Spirit of God, was talking from experience. That is what he did to his father's animals. And now, I want to ask you, David is holier than God. David was using his experience to address God. Now, and we are living in the world. Although economists know die, although there is no job in Nigeria, that's true. But in the midst of no job, 
in the midst of hopelessness the Lord says he leaded me at the still part the still green pastures make it me lie down in green pastures now how does he do it that's not my business he has the mechanisms unseen mechanisms by which he does it listen he maketh me to lie down in green pastures do you want that line to reflect in your life yeah. recite it to yourself and tell it to god and tell it to yourself that every line of your word should reflect in my life every line of your word every line of psalm 23 should reflect in my life i must reflect in my life because you are the shepherd and i am the sheep you owe me the responsibility pray to god open your mouth and pray to god make it me to lie down in green pastures he led me beside the still waters so matine shule akampalano so matile shuni akampalano make it also lie down in green pastures not in toxinous toxinous pastures not in poisonous pastures in green pastures that nourish Ulonoro Martine who's came hand Ayayaya Kumante He made me to lie down in green pastures He led me beside the still waters Yes Hallelujah Listen to me after the shepherd has led the sheep to the green pastures the next location is the still waters because there must be digestion there must be everything must send must, must be sent down in with the water and then there is digestion and then every nutrient is now even harnessed and then all the body organs will get it through the waters listen to me and the holy ghost is the water of life that enters into you and then makes everything that is inside you to become sweet and then when you have the gifts and the fruits of the spirit you are now a man and a woman and a child of god indeed he led me beside the still waters let him lead you let the spirit of god enter inside you straight away spirit of the most high god enter into me spirits of the most high god enter into them yes come at here tell us who they are not repeat and good master and a trick in my inner produce you know angeli prakki at the mass my phone does my shelly my hand laran de la murut my inner country opinion i compran a money miss motion in my in my mate kala premiate command the leroma sian hand i do no no roba hind ah yeah yeah who among you who among you is sure that you have some element of the spirit of god even if it is just the earnest of the spirit insignificant as it were who among you and listen to me that spirit is a living being I am not a dog, not a dog, so I don't know where my heart, I know that heart is somewhere here, but I have not seen it, I have not seen my kidney, my kidneys, I have not seen them, I have not seen my lung, but I know I have lung, I have not seen my intestine, I have not seen my blood vessels, I have not seen any organ, the 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 bladder i don't i don't know where it is somewhere here i don't know because i'm not i'm not, I'm not a doctor i didn't read anatomy 
I read construction technology, one survey, and there is no there is no relationship between anatomy and one survey. But you know what? There is somebody that knows everything that is dwelling inside me. And do you know what? He knows how to restructure the muscles of the heart. And the muscles that have failed, and you are declared that your heart has failed, and that you have 121 days to die. But there is somebody that is living inside you that knows about that heart and knows one thing that you will eat or you will not eat. Or he begins to stay there and the next moment he does a thing like this. And then that heart begins to restructure and the muscles begin to recreate. And before you know it, the thing becomes as a shy muscle, heart muscle. Less than that is the truth. Now, call the Spirit of God to restructure your system. This is the time of knowledge so that you become undiable. Restructure your system, your organs, your heart, your kidneys, your liver, your lung, your intestine, your bones, your pancreas. And make the pancreas to produce insulin. And make the pancreas that has failed to be rejuvenated and produce insulin. It must do its work. Hallelujah. Now, I will sing this song. Song number 207. Spirit of God in the clear running waters, blowing to greatness the trees on the hill. Spirit of God in the finger of morning, fill the earth, bring it up, bread and blue where you will. Listen to me, listen to me. Let him blow where he will. Let him blow in your pancreas. Which they said has failed. And then you are taking insulin that is manufactured. But the pancreas is supposed to manufacture insulin. Now the spirit of God that knows your pancreas restores your pancreas. And when he restores your pancreas, you don't need external panc uh, insulin. And I am talking the truth. And I'm not talking a lie. That is what is happening in me. Blow where you will. Blow in my brain. Blow where you will. Rusia Mahanda Spena. Adenia Kapilua Hinde Husky. Dominere Sudia Andela. Spirit. Of the living God that helpeth our infirmities. We do not know how to pray as we ought, and we do not know how to invest as we ought, and we do not know how to think as we ought. We do not even know how to think as we ought. We do not know how to attend to our system as we ought. Even the doctors die. Even the nurses die. Lord, I want to say that every one of us is incapacitated. But the spirit of the living God, by whom all things were created, the ten rock of ages, is not incapacitated. Who ya handa huski mahi? Ayuziana mi priya kot. Agritos mahina handa. Therefore, precious master. Lord, now the rule is that uh, the father should give to the children. That is the rule. That is the principle. The father should give to the children. Eternal rock of ages. In the day of Moses, 
That's what happened. And in the death of Jesus and the disciples, he breathed upon them and said, Who receive you the Spirit? And therefore I say, Who receive you the Spirit? Receive you the Spirit. The Spirit of recreation. Recreation of organs. Recreation of hearts. Recreation of lungs. Recreation of kidney. Recreation of pancreas. Recreation of joints. Recreation of womb. In the name of Jesus. Now listen. He restored my soul. He restored my soul. He led me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. But I am going to consider he restored my soul. And then there are souls, there are minds that are here and need to be restored. The minds are full of fear. And then the fear is ravaging. But the God is the God that restored your mind and becomes a fearless mind. And then your heart is filled with faith and filled with assurance. And who is the person that did it? The Spirit of the Lord. He restored my soul. And then the backsliding person says, I am alive again. And I love Jesus again. I was about to stray away from the church. But behold, I am alive. I've returned to the Lord. And I thank you, O Lord. He restored my soul. He restored my soul. Is anybody saying, let him restore my soul? Listen to me. It is not let him restore my soul, but say, he restored my soul. So you can now say, fear, get out. Fear, get out. Fear, get out. Fear, get out. Fear, get out of me. Faithlessness, get out of me. I'm no business with you. Fear, get out of me. Faithlessness, get out of me. Sinful tendency, get out of me. I produce no shame. Adonai. Alaluski. Yes. Now listen. Hallelujah. Fear has gotten out of you. Faithlessness is out of you. I see it moving out of you skipping like an animal oh you think i'm joking i know the day that fear that the devil brought inside me so that i will not fulfill ministry went out in a meeting and a word came and the fear went out and from that day till now i want to meet anybody and talk about jesus tendency to see Get out of you. Immunity against sin. Enter me. He restored my soul to himself. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Why will you not fear evil? For thou art with me. He that justifies you is near you. He that is accusing you is far. If you don't want to die, come to my camp. If you want God to use you, come to my camp. You can stand and say, I am in your camp. That's all. And if you mean it, you see what will happen. Hallelujah. 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 You come to my camp, rise up and raise your hands up and say, I'm in your camp.
and we are camp. We live to serve the Lord. Come on. We lift your name. I say we lift your name. We lift your name.
Calling and the gifts of the Lord uh, without repentance. I didn't ask you to call me. I didn't force words into the truth of the Lord. And my girl, one, yeah, one. You answered me there by there. Lord, I thank you. I am grateful. The arrows of the wicked one have been fired. But the arrows should not do anything, did not do anything. And that is by thy strength, by thy shield. Lord, we have come. This is 2018. 2017 is gone and cannot come back. It's gone forever. And we're in a new year. Great Father in heaven. We do not know what June will bring. But God knows what eternity will bring from now. Item by item. Look at all these people. I do not see their hearts, their minds. I do not know their individual circumstances unless by revelation. The Lord, you know their individual circumstances. You know the things that pain them. You know the situations with their children that are painful. Even hurt situations or whatever. Painful to them. Father, you are not a tyrant. You are not a callous one. Precious Lord. My prayer is the three verses of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd that I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Lord, I am very sure from this hour, even on and on and on and on and on, all the verses, all the lines will be reflected and is being reflected they are being reflected in their lives forever from this moment thank you holy father lover of our souls thank you they will come with testimonies and people will not be able to be able to up, to share their testimonies because people will be too numerous and we will not be able to to contain the testimonies that are building up. We will not be able to contain them. Thank you, our Father. Glory be to your holy name. For answer to prayers. For the things that you have begun. For the manifestation of the finger of God. Father, thank you. Lord Jesus, thank you. Holy Spirit, third person in the blessed Trinity, thank you. Lord, I have not spoken into the air. I have spoken just into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. We've danced and shouted and sung to the glory of the Lord, to the honor of the Lord. I want to say to thee, we do not need to bring 
offerings of fat burnt on the altar that you may smell a soothing aroma like Noah did like the deed of old burnt offerings great fat there are no more necessary one burnt offering was done more than 2,000 years ago on the cross of Calvary. And that sees everything. The offering of our lips from our heart, which we have lifted up unto thee, they are all acceptable. Thank you for accepting them. And thank you for blessing us. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus, we have prayed. A clap offering unto him that dwelleth between the cherubims. A clap offering unto him that dwelleth between the cherubims. A clap offering unto him that dwelleth between the cherubims. A clap offering unto him that dwelleth between the cherubims. The King of Kings, 